Okay, hey you. It's Monday at like seven, and I did a bunch of work on like labs and stuff, and didn't really get to cook anything, so I couldn't really make much of a, a vid today. But I figured I'll uh, show you what I was doing yesterday. Uh, we got this cool little uh, projector uh, from Rachel's brother, and so what we've been doing is uh, we took a movie, uh, uh, Princess Mononoke, and we really liked uh, a bunch of scenes from it, and we wanted to uh, paint one of them. And so this is what Rachel and I did yesterday. Uh, it's obviously not done. Uh, there's uh, It's of, uh, a bunch of uh, forest spirits hanging out in a, a big tree. If you've ever seen Princess Mononoke, if you haven't seen that movie, then you should stop the video now and find it and watch it because it's awesome um but either way um the best way to paint a mural like this um is really to get a projector uh, this one is actually uh it's it's pretty small and it and it just kind of gave us a rough outline but that's all we really needed um what i had done in the past uh for my art club when I worked uh, back in New York was uh, we would just take an overhead projector and I would make an overhead of at least the outline of what I wanted and at least that gives you sort of the um, the line work you know just kind of like going along the lines of it because um, it's one thing to draw a tree on like a piece of paper and it's a whole other thing to take that piece of paper and then to blow it up on uh, such a large canvas like this and to keep uh, uh, all of the uh, ratios and proportions accurate. So um, although this is sort of a dinky one, uh, if you get just like an old school projector, uh, you could project something onto a wall uh, of anything that you like, you know, print it off of the web and, um, and project it on the wall and then you can just trace it, outline it in, in paint. Um, Rachel and I have uh, obviously done something similar to this before, which is why we were able to get this far yesterday. Um, but it really doesn't take much time. So uh, check it out. Um, try it yourself. There's no reason not to. we got a lot of time in home right now. So if you've got uh, a wall that you want to make more beautiful, then do it. Why not, right? Uh, I'll keep you updated on the progress of this. Um, and then also the progress of this guy. This is my other one. This one I've just been sort of doing uh, a little bit freestyle because it's, you know, it doesn't take nearly as much uh, line work as something like that. So my basement's coming along. I'm pretty proud of it. And I'll keep you updated with the progress um, as it moves. Okay. Hope you're well today. Talk soon.